Houthis to get out of South Yemen and for us to get our own independent country. Since unification in 1990, we have been marginalized. Our resources have been stolen from us. Our rights have been taken away from us. Our land, our children, our husbands, our parents, they've all been taken from us. And so now we stand here and we tell you to stand with us to say no to the Houthis and to tell them to go back to North Yemen and to leave us alone. Our children are getting killed by Houthi snipers on the roof. Ali Abdullah Saleh has him himself waged war on the Houthis and now he is siding with them, supplying them with weapons, with tanks, with shells to kill children in their houses. Excuse me. 300,000 people have been displaced in Lahaj, 700,000 in Eden. The bo boats that are leaving have been shelled at. There is no humanitarian aid being able to enter the country. The Houthis themselves today, a ceasefire was announced and they have still been committing genocide against the South, even today when there is a ceasefire. We want them out and we want the international community to stand with us. We do not want another Syria. But if you don't take so you don't take a stand, that's going to happen. How many more Yemenis have to be displaced? How many more southern Yemeni children have to be killed? How many more women have to be raped? And add then the Houthis are going into the houses. They are raping the women. They are killing them and they are killing their husbands. They don't want us there. They want our land. They don't care if we are there, dead or alive. And we want to say to them, that is not your land, this is our land. And we want it back. We want to be able to go back to our country and breathe the air and kiss the land and kiss our families and relatives. But we are not able to because there is a war going on. I want to say, Elia Dolla is the worst terrorist in this planet. He has brought Al-Qaeda to Yemen himself. Ali Abdullah Saleh is a billionaire, while Yemen is the poorest country in the Arabian Peninsula. It is a top eight in malnutrition. How does that make sense? We want Ali Abdullah Saleh to go to international court for war crimes. He is a war criminal and he has killed people only for his satisfaction. This is not a president, this is a dictatorship and he wants his son to take over. We don't care if Hadi comes back or not. What we care is we care for a South Yemeni country where we are independent from North Yemen. We are two different people with two different cultures and two different histories. Unification does not work for us. It has not worked since that treaty was signed the next day after they have killed us and stolen our resources. So for anyone that stands for unification, stop. It is no longer there. We have never been unified. How do you stay unified when a president kills his own people? This is Yemeni on Yemeni crimes, and that's why we will never, ever be again with North Yemen. So we stand with the international community. Please stand with us. And to all the humanitarian organizations to send aid, medical aid, and food to Aden, Lahed, Dalit, Abia, and Shepwan. And if you cannot get the, the medical aid to those places, they don't need to be sent to Sana'a, they need to be sent to Aden. And from there, please contact any Yemenis that are willing to work with the organizations to send aid to the hospital. So for all the Americans and for the international community, please stand with us and help us stop this. Because if this does not stop soon, it is going to go into a total crisis like it's already been. Thank you. Thank you.